I think what President Trump is trying to say is he's talked to Kim Jong-un and he thinks he's a good guy and thinks some, he's someone we should trust, so not to worry. Uh, I would suggest that is a little premature. Kim Jong-un has proved to be a pretty ruthless leader in, in North Korea, and I'm not sure the sort of speed dating of a 45-minute one-on-one meeting with him uh, would suggest that there's nothing to be concerned about. The real problem with what President Trump has been talking about is the fact that he talked to the North Koreans about our troops there in South Korea to in furtherance of the U.S.-South Korean alliance, and he talked to the North Koreans about it, and he made a decision on the basis of his conversation with the North Koreans. At a minimum, I think he should have said to the North Koreans, okay, I hear you, but I'm going to have to talk to our, our alliance partners, the South Koreans. The exercises have nothing to do with negotiations with North Korea. They are exercises designed to make sure our military can work with the South Korean military in the event there's an attack. And so uh, to suggest that an attack would depend on whether he's had a good discussion, whether our president has had a good discussion with the leader of North Korea in Singapore is a bit of a non sequitur. With respect to the joint statement they reached, actually we've reached uh, much more robust joint statements with the North Koreans in the past. And uh, as a comment, I would say it was not well written and frankly not well thought out. This uh, summit was not well prepared. And by prepared, I mean usually when the U.S. goes in and talks to some adversary, in this case North Korea, it behooves us to brief and to prepare our allies for what is going on. And very little of that was done. And it was often up to our allies to approach us and say, now don't forget us, etc. So I think this summit has not been well managed or prepared. And I think it may have raised more concerns than it put to rest. I think the agreement is best left forgotten. And I think uh, Secretary of State Pompeo should listen to our partners and allies in the region and try to fashion a new kind of uh, way forward, some kind of blueprint looking forward. Uh, I think some of the issues raised in the, in the joint statement with the North Koreans seem to have been written by North Koreans, not by Americans.